So, today's a vlog I wanted to do because I've been thinking about it, but I don't know how to say it. And it's going to be an unpopular one because I have not heard about it happening in Nepal yet. I know I have friends abroad who have had their points deducted on their license for like bad driving, causing accidents, or just some negligence they've done. Like, abroad what happens is when you get pulled over or in checking and you are fined with some sort of traffic violation what happens usually is depending on the severity of the accident or violation points are deducted from your license yes and with enough points deducted it does get revoked like the state the government does take away your licensing hey you're not fit for driving uh, and then you have to like go into probation, re-give the exam, whatever. But in Nepal, I really haven't seen such a system. I don't even know if we have such a system. So I just wanted to talk to you about it today. Like, do you think it's feasible? The thing in Nepal is, I feel like no matter how rashly or irrationally, safely or dangerously you drive, there's never that fear that your license can be taken away from you if you are that negligent on the road. Your driving license is basically a permit saying hey you passed all the tests and you are safe to use a 2-4 bigger vehicle on the road. But the thing is in Nepal I've rarely seen cases where the police have confiscated licenses and been like no. Yes, you do get the occasional cheat for like bad overtakes, traffic, crashing, um, I don't know, bad parking, using one way in the wrong direction. I had two, by the way. Um, but there's never been any system where like points are actually deducted from your license. Like, I'm just hypothetically thinking at the beginning when you get your license there's about a hundred points in it and depending on the severity like driving on a one-way could be like minus five points over speeding could be like minus ten points depending on how fast you go parking in an illegal zone a no u-turn violation like somewhere you can't make a u-turn you do that could be like minus two causing a big accident due to your negligence could be like minus 20 you know what i mean and the thing is on top of that fines like we do have fines but again this is going to be a very unpopular opinion like i don't expect people to agree with me on this at all because we all hate fines but more expensive fines is what i'm thinking about like if you overspeed you don't get away with like a 500 rupee fine what if you get like a 5000 rupee fine Pathetically, that's not the right number I want, but I'm just saying. And so what I'm thinking is that basically, if you have hefty fines for like too much parking, like overextended parking or illegal place parking, like if you had to pay like 7,000 if you left your car in a place you can't park versus a thousand rupee fine, don't you think people will think way more about breaking any form of rule or regulation like if i am driving to me i never think that even if i do break the law i do feel that yeah it's a bit of a hassle i have to go collect my blue book license but it's not gonna be like a ridiculously bad amount of fine that i'd actually have to be afraid of Yes, once I do get a cheat, I do subconsciously think after that, mm, I sh is this a one-way, is this a two-way, is this okay to park? But once there is some sort of decentive um, discouragement, like, again, 5,000 rupee for an illegal fine or like 5,000 rupee for like over speeding, that would really, really deter people from committing that because that's quite an amount people usually pay 5,000 for like a whole month of fuel and I don't know I'm just thinking out loud different ways to like get things in place and strict and I'm saying this primarily just for one reason vehicles are getting 
bigger, larger, heavier, more powerful bikes and cars across the board. Tempos too, public vehicles too. The number of lanes on the road and hence the speed on the road, the average speed has gone up in this last decade for sure. I don't have the data or statistics on this, but I remember a decade ago traveling 50 within Kathmandu, I used to be, whoa, 50. But now 50 can happen just about anywhere. All these river parallel roads, ring road, anywhere. And as a result, average speed, momentum, velocity of cars, the energy that they carry, they're all increasing. But unfortunately, driver awareness, how to make lane changes properly, indication properly, never just indicate on the intersection when you're finally turning, you have to do it before time. Your awareness about your blind spots. A lot of car comes with the come with these sensors, but many of them don't. And you just have to rely on you looking back or on your mirror or your rear view mirror. And then the aspect of people on the road being aware of others on the road like you can't selfishly just think if I go through if I get through if I speed through and get there on time it'll be okay you have to think what will the other person around me on a bike on a car on a bus also have to do because of my action whether it's over speeding or quick turns or like not stopping on time all of that has to be taken into account and that's what I am trying to encourage with not just today's discussion on like maybe having points, a point system on your license and heavier fines, but also maybe revamping the trial system to have more things. Maybe not just doing it on a fixed trial, but instead doing it out on the road where let's, let's be for real, doing an eight on the trial and passing versus actually driving out in the city is completely different at this point and so yeah like I feel like it's time we all sit and have a discussion on like improving road safety because there are just so many reported accidents and deaths fatal deaths fatal accidents especially on the highways like there's very simple things like not overtaking on a blind turning that people just don't take into account and I feel like that just, I don't know whether to call it arrogant or ignorant or just stupidity at this point, but I feel like it's something that the country and all its license holders do really need to work on if we are to reduce road fatality and accidents. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know whether you agree or disagree to it or whether you have a better system in mind or I don't know, anything. I uh, will encourage any and all sorts of comments. So let me know what you think. Uh, do give me a subscription if you want to hear more or there's any other topics you want to talk about. I'll see you on the next vlog.